Back at 644, trendy cosmetic procedures are seemingly always popping up on social media. Yeah, and now we're hearing about a liquid facelift. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with the price and the benefits. You're always on the know on these things, <laughs> trendy things. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I've got good sources yeah. who are in the know. Good morning, guys. So a liquid facelift is using Botox and fillers throughout your face to give you the look of a facelift, but it helps you kind of preview what one would look like. So it's, it's not permanent. It's less expensive, and for one woman, and she says this helps with sagging from more than just aging. Years ago, Deanne Thigpen experienced Bell's palsy. It only lasted about a week for me, and so I didn't really have any issues. But like I said, as I've gotten older, the, the right side of my face has gotten definitely gotten weaker and weaker. She's now wanting to look younger, but feels too young to make any surgical changes. So I just recently turned 50, and uh, sometimes you look in the mirror and you're like, well, this just doesn't look accurate. I don't necessarily notice it when I look in the mirror sometimes, but then I see pictures and think, oh my goodness, it's like, you know, this whole side of my face is so much less. Which makes her a great candidate for a liquid facelift, according to Dr. Sanaz Horichian. I was in the room as Deanne got numbing cream, some Botox to plump and weigh some areas down, while using filler to add volume and lift other parts of the face. So as we age, what ends up happening is ligaments loosen, fat pads fall, skin loosens, and people get more bottom heavy and they get more volume depleted. And that's why when there's a time to do surgery, it's time to do surgery. But before that point, you can really add volume in the cheeks, in the under eyes, in order to give an illusion of a lift without actually lifting the tissue. You can add some fillers in the chin or some fillers along the jawline to give a more sculpted jawline and to make it look more lifted without actually lifting it with surgery. Deanne went from this before the injections to this after the filler and Botox. And it cost between $1,500 to $5,000. Not as expensive as an operation for a face or brow lift and not permanent. The filler typically lasts about one to two years. Um, and then I think she's going to have to supplement it with other little procedures that make the skin more healthy. And Deanne thinks she can do it. Like I said, I'm looking for a little few other options to kind of prolong the necessary steps to, to doing anything surgical. Now, some other options to maintain results from procedures like this or to give you a more youthful look is using lasers to build collagen, microneedling, and then, of course, keeping a good skin skincare routine. I know, yeah. got to keep up with that. Yeah. I'm so bad about doing sunblock every day. I don't do that. Sunblock, I mean, yeah, there's just a whole routine that you can get into if you talk to an esthetician or somebody else like that. and. It'll really keep you looking young, keep you yeah. looking fresh. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting <laughs> that you could sort of see what a, a real facelift might look like by doing this. It gives you an idea. Yeah, yeah, and so she said, you know, by the time this wears off, maybe she'll be ready for surgery, or maybe she'll say, forget it. I don't want it. Right. You know? I do this again mm -hmm. forever. Yeah, just stay with this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Haley. Thanks.